Good morning, Adventure Nation. We are in deep West Texas, and today we've got some really cool stuff that we're gonna be doing. This is the Motorhome Experiment. Okay, so we are in Langtree, Texas. Langtree is a tiny little town that was established because of the railroad that used to come through here. Uh, it was something before the Southern Pacific, but it became the Southern Pacific Railroad. And the railroad rerouted in the 1920s and it killed the town. Now what this town is really known for is Judge Roy Bean. He's the guy that kind of put it on the map and Judge Roy Bean is known as the law west of the Pecos. And we're about to go out and check out his museum right now, it should be cool. It's their post office and you can also get ice cream in there. <laughs> That's cool. Cold drinks, coffee, post office, awesome. Careful, Lori, the traffic. Yeah, see boat side before crossing. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. How are y'all doing? Good. How are you doing? Okay. Well, I must say we just spent a half hour in there with the gentleman at the counter at the Judge Roy Bean Museum. And I think I want to move to Texas. Oh my God. <laughs> so much great information about Texas. Gang, we have got so much to bring you. And what this gentleman just showed us, we're going to have so much other information that we're going to be able to share with you guys and places that we're going to take you that probably most tourists don't go because of this gentleman there. He's so excited about his state and what's available here. Now, he's a birding guy, so he did a lot of his stuff was based on birding, but he also gave us some just great information on all kinds of places to see. So we're, we're fired up and we're excited about what we're gonna see here in, in Texas. Ready? Ready, let's, let's check here. out Judge Roy Bean. Okay, so this room here, absolutely amazing. This is called the Jersey Lily. So this is the bar here. And this is the local saloon that Judge Roy Bean created for this area. This is the courtroom that Judge Roy Bean created. And so you served liquor and justice in the exact same building. It's just amazing. This room here is the billiard hall. So there used to be a pool table in here where they played billiards. Judge Roy Bean died in this room right here on March 16th, 1903. And then he was buried down the way in Del Rio. But this, this room is where he passed. So kind of creepy. One of the real cool things that we learned about this building, yes, it was both a saloon and his courtroom, but they said sometimes that he would hold court out here on the porch, but he would stop proceedings and go inside to serve someone and then come back out and finish the court. That's cool. That's funny. <laughs> Okay, the consensus on the Judge Roy Bean Museum, thumbs good up, yeah, great good stop. It is a free museum and it's got a lot of history. It'll just take you between 15 minutes and a half hour to see everything. And it's just really cool history. So recommend stopping it and talk to the folks inside. They've got so much information on oh, Texas so nice. and they're so nice. You'll want to move here. It's, just awesome. So now it's time to jump in Freya and head down the road towards Del Rio. And right now we are in the heart of Texas. Well, at least, I mean, that's, that's what it says. It, it says on the sign that we're in the heart of Texas. It's the only reason I knew. 
Okay. There's something not right with your husband. I knew that when I marry him. <laughs> Lorena, that's uh, an awful lot of paperwork. I have to say, visitor centers are great. Lots of information, but I have some homework to do. <laughs> this is like what we're gonna see in Texas. Just east of Langtree and the Roy Bean Museum on Texas 90 is a rest area. You'll cross a bridge and the rest area is the next right you can make and it will bring you here probably one of the most amazing rest areas that we have seen so far. And isn't this a rest area that you saw on free campsites on that? They said you could stay overnight here, No right? free campsites. In all states, I saw that you can overnight here. And there's also another rest area uh, going a little bit west, not too far from here. You can overnight there too. And you can probably fit about four RVs. Yeah, right? it's, four there's a lot large, of space here. Large RVs. So it's pretty cool. Pretty spectacular rest area. Not a bad overnight to wake up to this in the morning. We made it into Del Rio and we're going to be spending the night at the lovely Walmart Auto and Tire Center where we are going to get the front tire on Lorena's car replaced. Actually, we're going to have a pair of them replaced here at Walmart, but they don't have the tires we want. So we have to wait till tomorrow. No problem. We just stay here for tonight. Ready to go discover Del Rio? Absolutely. Good morning. We're still here at Del Rio. <clears throat> We're at the Walmart Supercenter here where we stayed overnight. We're waiting for a uh, tire to come in for the for the edge. Actually, we're waiting for two tires to come in for the edge. They're supposed to be here at noon. So we're gonna go do a little adventuring today. We're gonna meet one of our viewers and go have breakfast and stuff. I wanna say that if you're overnighting here in Del Rio, the Walmart here, look, check this out. I've never seen this before. These are all spaces for RVs. There's eight spaces specifically for RVs. We were one of only two RVs parked over here last night. I guess most people don't even know it's here. I've never seen this before, but it's really convenient for an overnight stay. We're gonna go do some breakfast and check out Del Rio until the tires come in. So we're here in downtown Del Rio at the Whitehead Memorial Museum. We're gonna check this out. We've got some history here of Del Rio and uh, looks like a really cool building. There's cool. so many historical markers, as we said before, but a lot of cool stuff though. Hey guys. This is the way this used to look back in the day. Pretty cool. Okay, Lori's out here somewhere. This is a recreation of the Jersey Lily, the building that we were in out in Langtree, the Judge Roy Bean building. Kind of a little bit smaller scale, I think, but pretty cool.
And this here is where Judge Roy Bean and his son Sam are buried. And I don't know if I mentioned this the other day, he was known as the hanging judge, I think because of his harsh sentences and things like that, but I don't think he actually ever hanged anybody, so that's kind of kind of strange. But just, again, so much history in this area. It is unbelievable. This place is so cool. This bed was used in the filming of the movie Alamo. It was given as a gift to John Wayne's daughter. It's kind of a cool example of an early log cabin. 225 square feet of living space. And look at everything that you could possibly need in one space. Although, that bathtub, I don't know about that one. You know which ones were the early days composting toilets? Here they are. Also separator. One for number one, one for number two. A two-holer. Wow. This was a deluxe model. <laughs> deluxe model. <laughs> Just imagine being out on that old Maverick Road where I got a flat the other day with this thing. It's not like you could just call AAA and they would come help you out back in the day. I think you're pretty screwed. So this bad boy here is just awesome. 1919 Del Rio fire truck. And I got to show you guys this. This thing is chain driven. Look at that up under there. How cool is that? Yeah. Wow. No. Yeah, that is a cool piece. Okay, I don't know a whole lot about a whole lot of stuff, but I did not know that there was this many types of bob wire fence. All the different types of wire that are used. And I thought, man, that's a lot of wire. That's a lot of different bob wire fences, right? And then I came around the corner. That's a lot of wire. And that's a lot of different types of fences. Who knew? Okay, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I'm big on learning something new every day. Well, okay, so that you guys know, I, I, I'm about learning something new every day. This particular case, some of you may know this, some of you may not. Now, I will also say that I always want you guys to call me out on any misinformation, such as in the video the other day when I said about Presidio being the oldest city in the United States. Obviously it's not, it's St. Augustine and there's many others. So I was just reading what I saw and who knows if it's true or not. So always call me out if any of this stuff is untrue. But this particular thing I'm thinking is true. Six Flags Amusement Park. I, I'm assuming it originated here in Texas because here is what the Six Flags are all about. Spain, France, Mexico, Republic of Texas, Confederate States, United States. Six flags over Texas. And there's your history lesson for the day. We are now here at the Valley Verde Winery, and I love their sign here. I assume they're talking about that tree right there. Did you guys want 
tour, um, we can do that. And then if you want to taste any of the wines, what we do is any one wine complimentary, pick five for five dollars or try all of them for ten dollars. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All of them for ten bucks? Ooh, Lori. I'm gonna give me. So, we're at Valverde Winery. We are actually the oldest winery in the state of Texas. Um, we've been continually operating since 1883 under the same family. Oh, so that is fourth generation. Oh, Michael. very cool. <laughs> um, yeah, so we were founded by an Italian immigrant, Frank Qualia. Um, at the time, he came to the United States um, and Mexico. The Mexican government was kind of draining the land around Mexico City because it was traditionally very swampy. And they were trying to sponsor people to come over and do agricultural work there because kind of, you know, make it a little more fertile. He ended up in San Antonio and was really just looking for a place where he could settle and embrace a family and do, he was a farmer, so he wanted to grow crops. At the time in Del Rio, they were building the irrigation system off of San Felipe Springs. So what they did is he took the train to Brackettville, which was the furthest it went at the time, and then a cart here, settled here, raised a family. This was the original 15 acres of land that he actually settled on. Um, he rented and then later purchased from one of the matriarchs of Del Rio. We're here at the Valverde Winery, and Lori's getting her drink on. Actually, it's her wine tasting on. It's wine tasting, yeah. I you don't know what you're doing, just drink it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Paul. <laughs> I feel so self-conscious. <laughs> it's kind of like a honey cloying sort of sweet. Um, there's a stone fruit, it's like a peachy. These barrels here are where they do obviously long-term storage. Some of these may be stored up to 50 years before they're opened. We've had a great time here in Del Rio. The trip down from a Big Bend to here was fantastic. I wanna really, from the bottom of our hearts, thank longtime Del Rio resident, Robin Palmer. She was absolutely amazing, took us around today and let us see some of the sights and sounds and explained a lot of the history of this neat little uh, West Texas town. So Robin, we really, really thank you for that. And uh, yeah, that's all we've got for this one. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't been here before. Make sure you stay up to date on everything that we're doing. It'd be awesome if you guys liked the video. Any questions, comments, and concerns, we know you guys are gonna put those in the comments. So we'll see you guys again soon later. Bye. Bye guys. Let's Time go. Time to go.